But I tell you, the All South Carolina is just about all. <laughs> this is Wisdom Crib. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. Well, good to see you. And you've met my mother before, yes. Dixie Crib. It's so good to see you. Again. It's nice to see you. <laughs> and my sister Dixie, who works for you. Hello, Mr. Crib. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. My sister-in-law, Lynn Crib. Hello. Hello. And little Lee. <laughs> and that's Ken. Hi, how are you? Mr. President, my Billy brother Chris. William see, Billy Cribb, and Hello. their friend Jean Pet Monto. Right. <laughs> Evelyn Ritchie, my sister. Well, nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. And her husband Jim Ritchie. <laughs> and Caroline Ritchie. My brother-in-law. I'm yeah. kind of an adopted member. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Oh, well, I think we ought to assemble in a group picture here. Okay. Yeah. certainly chose the right one. <laughs> and I told him I was coming to Washington, and he said to please to shake your hand and to give you his best. Well. And, he's, and I think he says really what you have helped make all Americans feel that we are proud to be Americans. Well, pleasure. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> well, now. She's the most lovely member of my family. please for a moment here. Ken has asked me to, uh, as he said, get the crowd quiet. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think this is, a, uh, as a guest here, I'm happy to say that uh, uh, we have a terrific crowd of people here uh, to commemorate, not to celebrate, but to commemorate the uh, stewardship of Ken Cribb. And obviously the most appropriate person to talk about that is the person for whom we all work, uh, whether uh, in the White House, in the various departments, or some of us uh, which can will enter a civilian life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. reminded of my previous experience as a radio sports announcer in which I say we interrupt this program for a brief news item announcement the geekus death penalty amendment calling upon drug czars and so forth who take a human life in the pursuit of their nefarious business the amendment that applies the death penalty to them just passed in the House of Representatives 299 to 111. Now I could say that's the good news. The bad news is Ken Cribb is leaving. <laughs> but I know this is a party and I won't interrupt it for just more than a a moment, uh, I just want you to know how 
tinged with regret it is, of course, that you're leaving, but understanding completely that that has to be, and who am I to talk? I'm leaving pretty soon myself. <laughs> We have parties like this, and uh, each time it's to say goodbye to someone that, to whom we're deeply indebted, and someone who has served nobly and above and beyond the call of duty, and that is Ken Cribb. And uh, we know that where you're going, you're going to be continue to be of service to, to the public and to the things that we believe in, so we're happy about that. Good. But I think now it's eat, drink, and be merry, and uh, all of us have to say goodbye. Thank you, Mr. President. I said to the President earlier today that, uh, in my view, what distinguishes him from the generality of mankind and from every politician I know is that he always asks first the question that other politicians never ask at all, and that is, what is the proper role of government? And his answer to that question has led to less intrusiveness of government at home, and that's brought with it prosperity, and has led to strength abroad, and that's brought with it peace. And the debate, Mr. President, is just starting just starting about what the meaning all of this has for the future. And as of Monday, I hope to be contributing to that debate. But whatever happens, the, the proudest thing in my life is the eight years I've, I've been at your side. Well, we've been proud to have you. <laughs> for me to do, so I'm going to have to leave the party, because I wouldn't be able to do them if I... <laughs> but, again... <laughs> very pleased and proud to participate at even a little while here in this well-deserved farewell. Thanks, sir. All right. <laughs>